Ooh, that yellow thing is scary. Look at him. He said, oh my god, I'm looking for some algae. What's going on YouTube? Quick little update here of my tank. It is now two months old. Well, I guess technically two months and two days. But anyways, I want to give you a quick update. And uh, also, if you notice, I got a new shirt on. Eye catching corals. Bam! So this is my new uh, wholesale group. I buy frags from corals, big colonies, you know, whatever it is. Um, well, wait, there's more. Hey, what's up, reefers? This is inappropriate reefer reef squad. But wait, there's more. And also, gotta give a shout out to the homie SC Reefer. Hooked me up with this free, awesome shirt. Y'all go check out his YouTube channel. Check out all the stuff he's got going on. I believe he's got a uh, subscriber contest going on right now. I subscribed, I commented, I did everything I needed to do. So y'all go do that too. But uh, besides this, let's look at the tank. Look at that. I just got a uh, Walt Disney dropped off to me from a fellow Reefer hobbyist. Lives about a mile from me. So that's good there. And you just gave it to me for nothing. Yes. Sweet. And the overall look at the tank. It is super jam packed. Got scolies everywhere. That's actually two of them right there. They're just really close together. You just can't tell. I guess you can't tell. My uh, Jason Fox. Uh, grafted money it's not doing too good it's like really browned out for some reason since I got it I mean it's not bright at all like when I first got it it was the brightest thing in this tank you know it looked like this slimer right here and then that red money cap you know fused together but now it's just dull I think I'm gonna trade it back to the guy I got it from and get another acro I've got several frags for sale and that uh, helio fungia back there Sucker is huge, massive. Tons of acans. Why does it keep keep getting brighter? Oh well. Um, acans, chalices, acros, shrooms, lastos, and these uh few frags right there. They're really tall. I got those from a buddy. I'm trying to get those to color up really nicely. And the fishies are wanting some attention, so I'll give it to them. Look at them go. They're hungry. That is my... What is that? That's a PC Rainbow. Back there, the other green little frag is a ASD Rainbow Millie. It's my Pink Floyd. Everything looks yellow in this tank, but... It's all different colors. There's my uh, wild uh, mariculture colony I got from Aqua SD. My super bright something. I don't know what it is, but it's super bright. Oh, yeah, that's my uh, candlelight. That's what it is. It looks like a dang candle. Um, I don't know. Sunset Millie. Red Dragon. Another clownfish. Another red or yellow. I don't know. My rainbow acans. Some more scolies. Yeah. Orange frog spawn. Big shrimp. Clean it up. Doing work, son. But, uh, man, that scoli is nice right there. I wanted to keep it, but a guy wanted it, so I sold it to him. These two are still available. One on the left is, uh, I believe 150, and one on the right is 175. More rainbow A cans. I used to have a big maze brain. Um, yeah, maze brain coral here, and I uh, traded it to a guy so for some frags, obviously. Don't remember what this little guy is here. Uh, come on. I don't know, but oh well. That's a reef pet something. I think it's like a tricolor or something. It's another wild 
colony of something. I believe that's a Master Blaster from Fraghouse Corals. That is another something from Fraghouse Corals. I don't know why my phone is not focusing. Focus. Focus your dang phone. I don't know. Maybe it's because I got a gel filter on here. Got a two. One up here is a dark side of the moon. And this is a Garf Bonsai. I don't know why it's not doing too good, but... Oh well. My plate. There's an Aussie go or a purple torch. Some more SPS back there. SPS crazy, man. I'm telling you. I need to change my channel to just SPS crazy. Rico, better watch out, man. I'm telling you. Give me like two years, I'll catch up to you. Maybe, maybe okay, maybe, maybe like ten. Yeah, all this stuff right here, uh, it just came with a tank. I, I'm going to cut it out one of these days. I just haven't done it yet. I like this cabbage crap. And uh, I've already fragged this uh, leather uh, right there. I fragged that, but it's already growing back. And see, there's my other uh, yellow cap. Man, it's really hard. That LED's screwing it up. But uh, there's a cap right here. And it was like bright, bright, bright yellow. Oh, yeah, there we go. But uh, it's not bright yellow. It's It almost looks like it's dying. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, did the shrimp molt? No, that's just a piece of junk back there. My little algae. Don't tell nobody. I got a little algae. Hell, who don't? Or, hell, yeah, hell, uh, yeah. Who doesn't have algae? You know what I mean? Side boob. One more time. Blurry side boob. Focus side boob. Tank is doing really good. Uh, one bad thing that happened, well, I guess not bad, is uh, Triton ran out of their, well, they ran out a long time ago of their supplements, and uh, nobody's been able to get the supplements back in. And I'm talking about all three supplements, like the core stuff, uh, the original base elements, you couldn't get anything. And basically, you know, my bottles were leaking. You know, they were slowly leaking. Uh, three of them were leaking pretty bad. One of them was slowly leaking. And eventually, you know, I just had to stop dosing it because I was almost completely out. I never get to show that guy, but there's a red Digi Tata. Yeah, so uh, let me show you my sump here. And I'll talk about that Triton more. Alright, so for those of you who have watched any of my past videos, uh, you'll notice that the Triton bottles are gone. And now I have Voss containers. I uh, just picked them up in my Kroger. Um, they had the 32 ounce bottles, but they only had three. So I waited like a few weeks and, you know, they just didn't, they never restocked them, so... I had to get this six pack and these are 16 ounces so I just you know I got tired of waiting so I went ahead and got this set up for whenever Triton does come back into stock I'll be set all I got to do is put the uh, chemicals inside here and I'm ready to rock and roll and I set it up just a little bit different from what you can tell you know what you can see as last time I had some kind of contraption that hung on right here it was a docine hose holder and it really didn't work that well i mean it, it definitely hold, held the hoses in place but this just wasn't a good place to uh, i don't know if the airlines are or the this in the way but anyways it wasn't a good place to dose the triton because it wasn't getting too much flow so what I did was I moved that little contraption here and you know the sump is actually made to be dosed right here and this doesn't get any flow like hey Google stop uh, this doesn't get any flow and 
So I just kind of hooked it up to where it's hooked up with some rigid airline tubing. And as you can see, it fits perfectly in here. And I'm hoping this will stop all the bubbles, you know, that I'm having with this j pump. Because if I start having bubbles again, I'm just going to basically put, you know, put this doser, uh, I guess, as a backup and get a, a good GHL doser and uh, use this for a backup. Hey, Google, set a timer to 35 minutes. All right, 35 minutes, starting now. Yeah, I'm uh, filling up water right now, but like I was saying, this doesn't get much flow back here originally, so I had to put this little pump right here, and I've got it hooked up to the apex, and what that does is 30 minutes before uh, I start dosing, this pump is going to kick on. Now, it's really not doing too much right now. Let me raise it up just a little bit, so... There you go. Now you can see it's it's really it's mixing that water pretty good. It doesn't really look like it too much on here, but it is really mixing that water up. Um, another thing I want to talk to you about, which there's going to be a video coming out coming out uh probably Saturday or Sunday morning. I'm not sure what day I'm going to release that, but if any of you guys have the Neptune ATK. The auto top off kit, whatever it's called. Do you have problems with? Yeah, you can't see it. Uh, do you guys have problem with that? The PMUP, the I don't even know what the heck it's called, but uh, it's a little pump that comes with the uh, auto top off. Um, for whatever reason, for me, the first week or so it worked great, you know. It would uh, use 5 gallons, 10 gallons, you know, whatever it needed. It would fill it up. But now, for whatever reason, um, that pump will it'll kick on. It'll make a loud noise, and it's not pumping water. So I have to manually get a little wooden barbecue skewer and turn the pump on with my apex. And then I have to push it, the uh, impeller, to make it spin then drop it back down in the auto top off container and then once it fills up to my little line here right there then the pump turns off and that's it if the sensors get low like they are right now I have to manually add water back to it and it's it's really irritating but anyways enough about that I'm going to make a video about that and that'll be out uh, today is Tuesday, I believe, so, um, it'll be out Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I don't know, just whenever, whenever I'm done with it, and, yeah, enough about that, Saturday night, I don't know why or what got into me, but I cleaned up this tank. I probably took about two hours to really scrub this thing down really, 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 really good. Oh, yeah, that looks better. And, uh, man, it looks so nice. Like, I don't want it to get dirty. You know, I even took all the Marine Pure. They had a little bit of algae on them, and I uh, used a toothbrush and scraped them all off, and they're good now. You see the bubbles back there because I don't have a filter sock on. I was supposed to change it this morning, and, and I didn't, so I had to come home for lunch and get that changed. But that's besides the point. My chato was doing really, really good. My red graciola algae, I don't know how to say that word. I gotta learn how to say that. It's doing great. And then my two little pieces of red dragon, they're, they're living. They're doing okay, but they're not necessarily growing like I thought they would. I don't know. Maybe they're a slow-growing macroalgae. Uh, a little dirt there, but oh well. I'm not sure. Brighten up, buddy. Mm, I don't know. You can't tell, but you know, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Let me see if you can see in here. Where is it? I don't even know if that's it. No. Well... I don't know. Anyways, it's it's in here somewhere. But, uh, I don't know. 
leave a comment below if uh this red dragon macroalgae if it's a if it's a slow grower i've got three different types of macroalgae in here um you may also notice this big bulky contraption in here i haven't ran carbon in two months so i'm i just went ahead and ran carbon i mean i bought this stuff back in november and today is january 30th so i mean <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous i haven't used the carbon yet but oh well i'll take the skimmer out because you normally clean your skimmer you know your skimmer cup and uh say every you know or at least i do i clean the actual skimmer body you know once every couple months i throw it in the dishwasher and rinse it up real good but uh i just clean the cup put the cup back on tried to start the skimmer and it just kept overflowing and overflowing and i mean for days you know and i tried it another week same thing like two or three days is overflowed and overflowed i changed the height to where it's recommended eight inches and then i changed it to uh seven inches and i changed it to like nine inches and just everywhere else in between and it just did not want to cooperate there's my hands hello but uh yeah so that's why that's in there I, I don't know i need to wash that skimmer i guess it's not really dirty but i just need to wash it i just realized this probably looks funky because i got an orange filter on there or a yellow filter but oh well back to the corals back to the filtration back to the corals the t-shirt if you can see it i don't think you can bam sc reefer i don't think you can see that but oh well loving the tank everybody that comes over and buys corals and some of my friends they they love this tank and man i'm in love with it too such a nice tank i mean i've never been able to keep sps like this so knock on wood The fox face. That is the fox face. I ain't heard that in a long time. Thank God. Here's a few SPS if it would zoom in for me. Man, every time I try to autofocus, it goes out of a. Uh, I don't know. Goes out of focus. Or it makes it too bright. The Walt Disney. Look at those humans. Look at the humans. So yeah. That's the tank. It's doing good. So. Doing even better. Neptune ATK. Mm, not so good. Alright you guys. So this is the two month update for this tank right here. Hopefully it's still around in about two or three years and I can't even fit my hand in here and the fish get trapped in between the SPS and can't even swim. But uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it. A thumbs down if you didn't. And subscribe to the channel to see more of this tank and to see it grow up and flourish into a nice SPS adult. So, thanks for watching guys. And what is an update without the T5s on? Ooh, that yellow thing is scared. Look at him. He said, oh my god, I'm looking for some algae.